Hi everyone, Kiki Cannon here with Cannon Studios and today we're going to be doing another installation video with the Wham Bam plate but this time I'm going to be doing one for the Jupiter. I also have one for the Saturn if you want to check that out. Um, and this kit for the Jupiter is about a hundred dollars which seems a little bit expensive, but really it's worth it to protect your equipment because if it gets damaged or anything, it's way more expensive to replace the big piece as well as just easier to get your prints off of. So I highly recommend getting one of these and using it before you use your equipment. So here is the build plate for the Jupiter. It comes with plastic already on it. So um, Wham Bam recommends after you remove the plastic, you actually want to soak it um, and alcohol for at least 30 minutes to as long as you want just to make sure all the grind comes off. Alright, so you got the Wham Bam plate here and it should have everything in it as well as using 220 uh, sandpaper. So I have these, your two pieces and it's pretty much the same as the Saturn if you did watch the video. I also have the silicone mat that you can, you can also get these through Wham Bam or you know wherever you want to get your silicone mat from. I'm just going to take the first one out here. Um, you don't have to use a mat if you want to, I'm just going to use this, take this out. Be sure to wear, um, you know, a mask or anything that you'll need. And I'm going to dry it off here. I'm just using paper towels. After that, we're going to go ahead and sand it on the 220 sandpaper. Okay, so I have my sandpaper clamped down here. I'm using my own piece for this part. Um, so there's this texture on here you can see, and basically we're going to want to sand that off. It's really, really like shiny. So I'm just going to have it here, and I'm just going to do little circles here. You can already see it's coming off and you can see the circular pattern here. I want to make sure to keep it pretty level, flat. And now that you have it well sanded, we're going to dip it again in the alcohol and wipe it off. If you feel any reason that your plate isn't clean enough, feel free to clean it with any alcohol further before doing this step because this is the most important step is putting this on not to freak anybody out. Okay, so first I'm going to peel off the adhesive. This is just how I'm going to install it. Try not to touch any of the sticky part. Okay, now that that's off. We're going to take the fill plate and I'm just going to make it completely 90 degrees. Alright, and then we're going to take this piece. Just 
straight up. Make sure it's even on the sides here. Okay, so you want to press through the middle first and then go out on the sides this way. And you want to get it on there as hard as possible because you don't want any uh, resin leaking in through this adhesion. And then you have your plate. And this will magnetically slap on here. This is the plate that will come off with your print on it. So as you can see, it's flexible here. So it'll be easier to pop off your print and then protect the original plate here. All right, thank you for joining me for another video today. Feel free to subscribe for some of my other content for resin printing as well as cosplay content and other just general studio videos. I'm still trying to make partner for YouTube, so this is where I'm at so far. I'm kind of halfway there. If you'd like to support my channel to make that happen, I do appreciate it. Thank you guys. Until my next video.